Hello, this is Laura Stevenson, Sarah from The Vault, here to talk to you about how as a biomimic you can recognize biological functions and strategies in nature. The purpose of this function and strategy quiz is to provide you with an introduction to some of biomimicry's terminology. We'll provide you with some examples of organisms that are easy to remember and to relate to. The main biological function we focus on today is protect from temperature. We specifically focus on one function and demonstrate nature's large diversity of strategies to solve a similar challenge that you may be dealing with. Let's say we're trying to solve environmental issues like storm flooding or air pollution or warm or hot or cold temperatures. How would nature solve these? If we were to learn from nature, with all her 3.8 billion years of experience, what would nature advise us to do? Because Biomimicry looks to learn from nature by translating the biological functions and strategies into human design concepts, let's start there. How are we going to do this? Well, first we look at what your challenge is. What is happening in our environment that needs help and how is nature solving that need? Let's take heat for example. What do we need to do to survive the extreme heat? Cool off, sweat, ventilate, get some shade, protect from extreme temperatures, for example, extreme cold. Well, as biomimics, we ask how would nature do A, B and C? We are now going to look at how nature protects from temperature. This is what we call the biological function. We are going to get more familiar with some biological organisms and their respective strategies to achieve these functions. Protect from temperature is a function or a verb and is a term used in the biomimicry taxonomy. Follow the link in the video narrative to find out how to use the biomimicry taxonomy to help you identify functions. Using these specific verbs will help you use asknature.org to find organisms that do these functions really well. When we find a champion organism, we look to how they do it. This is called the strategy. For each of the biological organisms mentioned in this video, we will make a statement and ask you if it's true or false. Please pause the video and answer the poll in the top right hand corner before restarting the video. The West African elephant has what we call thermal windows. These are highly vascularized skin areas on the elephant's body. These random patches on the elephant's skin act as a thermal window where higher concentrations of blood vessels allow more heat to escape. Our question for you today is, does the Western African elephant achieve the function protect against temperature through using the strategy random patches all over the elephant's skin and concentrated at the appendages act as a thermal window where higher concentrations of these blood vessels allow more heat to escape. Is this true or false? Okay, that was a really easy one. We looked at the West African elephant and learned that it had a function that it was really good at. And that function was protect from heat or protect from temperatures. Its strategy, or in other words, how it meets the function, is that it has patches of concentrated blood vessels over its body which can distribute heat very well. And these are called thermal windows. These highly vascularized skin areas regulate heat. So this statement was true. If you were to get into the science, you would find out how exactly the elephant carries out this strategy, how big and how many blood vessels are in these patches, and exactly how the blood streams through them to dissipate the heat. When you discover exactly how the strategy works, this is called the mechanism. We will look at these mechanisms in a future lesson. The Barrel Cactus the ribs of the cacti create a neighboring area of shade, which means slightly cooler air temperatures than that zone. Not only does the shade help the plant avoid evapotranspiration, but the shaded and non-shaded areas create little pockets of warmer and cooler air. This generates a convection current, like a mini breeze, which can further cool the cactus. 
Question. Does the barrel cactus achieve the function, protect from temperature, through using the strategy, radial ribs creating alternating shade and non-shaded sides, which slightly cool the air? True or false? The correct answer is true. Not only does the shade help the plant avoid evapotranspiration, but the shaded and non-shaded areas create little pockets of warmer and cooler air. The ribs of the cacti create a neighboring area of shade, which means slightly cooler air temperatures in that zone. Prairie dogs also need to survive the intense heat of the desert air. So let's look at how they do that. They have a burrow and in the burrow that has different openings and one burrow opening will be at a higher point than the other and downwind there's a lower air velocity so higher pressure. This creates a vacuum like effect and the air gets sucked in and through the mound cooling the interior. Well this is basically the Bernoulli's principle in action. So my question for you today is does the black tailed prairie dog achieve the function Protect from tem temperatures by using the strategy, regulate air and distributing gases via air channels that create a vacuum breeze throughout the bur burrow. True or false? Yes, the prairie dog is also a champion of surviving the extreme heat in the de desert but they do it differently than the West African elephant. They have their own strategy to protect themselves from heat, and that is to do this by regulating air and distributing gases throughout the burrow. So this answer is true. Very good. Wasps. Wasps build an extra layer of outer empty combs to protect from both cold and heat. The outer layer of combs rarely have a few broods present. In a previous study done by Hozumi, in the middle of the summer, the nest temperature at the brood combs were below 33 degrees Celsius. Question. Does the wasp achieve the function, protect itself against temperatures, through using a strategy, maintain physical integrity? The answer is false because we have mentioned two different functions and not the strategy at all. The function on the biomimicry taxonomy is as follows. Maintain physical integrity. Protect from abiotic factors. Temperature. This is still a function. The wasp strategy on the other hand is to build an extra layer of comb. The answer was thus a bit of a trick question to see if you were able to catch the difference between function and strategy. The wasp's strategy is to build an extra layer of outer empty combs that protects from both cold and heat. Let's look at another organism that protects itself from temperature, but this time from extreme cold temperatures. The wings of a penguin reduce heat loss by forming a counter-current heat exchange through its blood vessels between the wings and the body core. The cold blood returning to the body is heated back up by this vascular exchange of heat. The heat is thus conserved and re returned to the body core instead of traveling further out onto the wings to be lost to the cold water. So the question is, does the penguin achieve the function protect from temperatures by using the strategy, the heat exchange via the vascular design between the wings and the body core of the penguin conserve the warmth. True or false? The wings of a penguin reduce heat loss by forming counter-current heat exchange via the vascular design. The blood is supplied to the wing at the core body temperature of 38.5 degrees centigrade and the outgoing arterial blood is then heating the cooler incoming blood very close to the body. The heat is conserved and returned to the body core instead of becoming lost in the cold water on the wings. So the answer is true. Very good. In summary, 
The purpose of this function in Strategy Quiz was to provide you with an introduction to biomimicry terminology. We provided examples of organisms which were easy to remember and relate to. The main biological function we focused on was to protect from temperature. We specifically focused on one function to demonstrate the large diversity of strategies available in the natural world. We hope you learned more about function and strategy in this true and false quiz. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you learned something about function and strategy, and function being what the design challenge is doing, and strategy is how it is doing it. So the strategies in nature can help us figure out how to solve our function challenge. We also are looking forward to our next video where we're going to look at the mechanisms on exactly how these strategies are carried out. Feel free to contact us via our LinkedIn pages or download the video narrative and slideshow via the links in the narrative. If you wish to learn how to use the biomimicry taxonomy on asknature.org, just follow the link in the video narrative of, as well. This is Laura Stevens signing off from the Netherlands. And Sarah van der Waal signing off from Cape Town, South Africa.